Plus, I guess we're gonna talk about my dress. It's about to be a long ass video talking about ourselves. <laughs> I can edit. Okay, so basically I went to two dress shops. So the I had a bunch of appointments made, but I only actually got to go to two of them. When I was getting a wedding dress, in my mind, I mean, I watch years of say yes to the dress. I know what I like, but it's different. You know, you always watch when someone's like, I want a balgown, I want a balgown. And then they put on the mermaid and they're like, this is my dress. So I wasn't against any shape at all. I just knew it needed to be glitter explosion. Like I literally was just like glitter explosion. That's what I want. I want to sparkle. I want to shimmer. It's a New Year's Eve wedding. What do I look like showing up? And it has no flash. Like that's not Maya. Um, so the first day I went to JLM, um, which is like, you know, I watch a bunch of wedding shows, this big, big Kleinfeld say yes to the dress. And I, it is hard going wedding dress shopping as a plus size girl. And at the time I was definitely plus size. It's a little bit weird when you put on these dresses that are so small and they have to like pin them to you so you can like get the vibe, but you don't really get the vibe. And don't get me wrong, I still felt beautiful and stunning. I found a dress that I fell in love with. Like I cried, my mom cried, my sister cried. And it was like this blush glitter explosion. It was lovely. Yeah. And I really liked it. But something told me, wait on it. Like we're going to another place tomorrow, just wait on it. So the next day we went to this place called Strut in Long Beach and it's a plus size dress shop. And when I tell you it was just a world of difference, like to put on a dress and have them have to tighten it to you versus to be in a dress that's like you're busting out of, it's totally different. But it's, it's like you can tell when something's done intentionally and like when the message is like, I want to make everyone feel beautiful and welcome and not just a specific type of people because from start to finish the experience at Strut was so different. Like I had a great time at JLM, but at Strut, it was just like, we want to make you feel beautiful no matter what. They had dresses all the way from like four to size 32, like anything you wanted, they could do. And the price point was much lower, which like is not a bad thing. So I told her what <laughs> I wanted and I showed her the dress I had found the day before. She's like, this is the dress I have to beat. I was like, yeah, this is the dress you, ha you have to beat. And she was like, okay, so we picked a couple. I tried on a mermaid and I loved it. And my body looked banging but I just felt like I'm gonna be self-conscious about my stomach and I don't want to have to do that you know I want to be able to move I want to be able to dance I want to be able to eat my booty look good though um and then when I put on my dress he knew where I was but he didn't know anything as I put on my dress and was like getting emotional in the mirror he texted me randomly out the blue hard eyes I knew it I knew it wasn't my dress I already knew it and then when he did that it just like cemented it my dress it just I don't know how to describe it. Like it just the glitter, the everything, the moment. I, felt I know like, how to describe it. That's how you describe it right there. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Straight up. Like I felt like it accentuated my boobies, which are my, you know, one of my best features. So okay. those looked great, but then it had like the tightness. It had like kind of a softness to it. It had like some whimsical flowers around like the waist, which I normally would have, wouldn't have liked. And when I tried it on at first, I didn't love it. Um, but then as the dress got tailored and I lost weight and it changed, I felt it made it more whimsical, which I kind of loved. And that's not something I've ever described myself as. Like, I don't think I'm very fairy-like or whimsical. I would say my sister Morgana is more like that. But the it just made the dress lighter and airy. We added the little sleeves like Cinderella, which I loved. Um, that didn't come standard? No. Oh, okay. Sorry. But just the glitter of it, like the train, the volume, the moment. Like when you saw it, it was... <gasps> Mm. I low-key love this. Me too. <laughs> <laughs> I I it's, it's the white. Awesome. See? It's the white. I didn't know. Because this isn't currently this isn't white. This, this is, 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 white. This is petal, so it's not the ivory. It's like a champagne-ish white. This is beautiful. Oh, yeah. You look small, girl. Are you right? <laughs> you look small as hell. You don't even gotta do nothing. <laughs> And if you like cleavage, this is too big on you, so this the cups are gonna be a little bit smaller. I feel like so it's gonna... like the, my boobies look great, my waist looks great. I love the sleeve we did. Yeah, I feel like the only thing is if I didn't have the applique here, but I yeah, do. Literally, you can get rid of those. Yeah. 
Like if I'm like this, this, yeah, I feel like perfect. Yes. And it's so sparkly. It's shining in the damn zoo. Do you want a belt to go over that? No. Ooh. Let me see. Let me see. <laughs> Guys, so cute. Please don't start crying, Charlotte. I already did. Not yet. When she put the second sleep, I was like, oh my god. This to me, like That's yesterday beautiful. I felt like Cinderella, but today I really like Yeah. I don't know if it's just because it fits me that I'm even more like. I had a lot of people who had seen pictures of it, like my godmother had seen it on video. They were like, oh, it was cute on video. But when I seen it in person, like, I get it. Like, I'm seeing this dress and I'm like, you're sparkling. And I just felt like it really encapsulate like winter wonderland, like ice queen. Like, it just was a moment. And then that play pair with my reception dress that was also sequined and sparkly, but had the feather touch. Like I just felt like my outfits really were intentional to the brand, to the wedding, to us, um, to me. I felt beautiful, I felt comfortable. I also got a custom shawl made to go with it's it amazing. because it was a New Year's Eve wedding. I don't have any cute photos in it, but I was just so in love with this piece. Um, I just, I couldn't have been happier with everything regarding my outfits. My seamstress killed it, the dress place killed it. Like, I was just so pleased and I felt like everything was so me. Okay, 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 baby, let's go. <laughs> it was great. And one of the things is, you know, you're something borrowed. I didn't know this. I thought it was just something borrowed. It's supposed to be from a marriage you admire. Um, and one of my really good friends, Kaylee, my oldest friend, you've seen her on the vlogs a bunch. She lent me her wedding day jewelry that her husband had gotten for her as a gift. Um, and so it was just perfect putting it on and wearing something that had brought my friends so much success and putting it on and it was it just like For me to be like, hey, do you have any nice jewelry I could borrow for the wedding and then for her to pull that out and it went with the dress It had little hints of blue. It oh, just made perfect. it a moment. I thought that was fantastic <laughs> Um, that tiara I was wearing my sister had gotten me as part of my bridal shower gift and was not the tiara I had planned I had a rose gold tiara plan that didn't match with the jewelry, but then my sister got me the silver one, so I wore that one. And then you saw that he got me rose gold, rose gold earrings, so that was perfect because I was already planning on wearing that tiara for the reception dress, so it just, it worked out. I mean, I just think it was perfect. Um, um, and I guess the last thing we'll talk about was like the wedding website and the party. Um, um. So the party went through a lot of changes over... <laughs> The time people left, people joined, people changed, people, I mean, it was just, people got COVID, managed to come through in the last second. It was just a hot mess, but we made it happen. Um, and I think it worked out in the end because although it wasn't even like 10 and 10, I thought it was great that Victoria walked with two people or that Marley walked with Monty. Um, Monty is Marley and dog energy. Like they are so kismet and they love each other and they have this special connection and bond, but I think it's because they have the same like joie de vivre. 
um and Monty loves him so Marley so having Marley walk with him I thought was just perfect um because I was really unsure if Monty was gonna be in the wedding I kept on saying like he has to behave we'll see I don't know and my mom was like if you had kids would your kids be in the wedding I was like yeah and she's like Monty's your kid I was like you're right you're right so his little tux and I'm then him afraid. up there my kids don't come out with that much hair you know they will they're my kids your kids look at us okay come on that's one thing they will have is hair um but i think it was great because monty was on fairly good behavior for monty and even when he was do doing his little ooh, 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 it made sense with your vows because you talked about monty being annoying it just all was perfect um so in the wedding party i didn't originally have a maid of honor i gave everyone a specific task some people were great others not so much but if there was one person who was the standout star, it was Victoria, <laughs> who ended up becoming my maid of honor because she just put her heart, soul, and everything into the wedding above mm -hmm. and beyond. You know, I had bridesmaids who showed up and showed out, but Victoria, like, made it her mission. It was like, the, the yeah. love Victoria put into the wedding was as if it was her own. Right. Um, so I really wanted to, you know, show her how much I appreciate her and love her, and so she was maid of honor. And when I got her a shirt that said maid of honor as a surprise, she was, like, so emotional. So that was really fun. And then I had my sisters. So I had Morgana, I had Leland, had girlfriends from all points of life. So it was just like a good fun mix. Good. Yeah, I felt like on my side it was like, and I think what was really nice is like all of our siblings were in the wedding. Yeah. So all of our siblings were in the wedding. Another thing that was really important to me was, you know, there are child-free weddings and there are a lot of things where now like you'll have grandmothers or men doing the flower girl thing instead of kids because kids are just unpredictable. So we specifically chose children so we were related to so that if they were acting full, we could be like, hey, you want to get it together? You know, um, but we also had multiples so that if anyone didn't want to do it, the show went on and the show did go on as you guys will see. His nephew got a little freaked out and didn't want to walk. So one one <laughs> one bear wing bearer walked man. alone, and then my sister went and grabbed his nephew. And it was even a cuter moment, like my sister carrying him down the aisle because he got scared. Um, <laughs> so have multiples. If I can tell you anything, if you do want to have a ring bearer, if you do want to have flower girls, make sure you have more than one, and make sure you have some that are older. Um, our our ages were twelve, eight, six. Five, yeah. two and one. Make sure you have one that's a little aggressive as well. Because our, uh, LJ would have walked if Mateo was a little more aggressive. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. He was a little <laughs> soft with him. But I think it worked out that there was someone who was willing to do it alone, like the 12 and the 8-year-old. Yeah, if no Mateo one else was going to do it, they could do it. You know, and I think that's important. So if you want to have your little cousin, your little baby, this and that, make sure they're paired with an older yes, relative. That like, who is still age-appropriate. Okay, because I had to tell his niece, Ziana, who was a flower girl, I said, do you want to be a flower girl or do you want to be a junior bridesmaid? And if she had said junior bridesmaid, Leland would have been a junior bridesmaid with her. Probably would have been less headache. Not having to deal with yes. Leland and then also with Ziana's dress because that was just a whole trying to get it to match. I mean, oh my God. But I think it actually turned out perfect. But she said, I don't know. What do you think? And I said, I think you can be a bridesmaid at any age and you will have years of being a bridesmaid. I think this is your last year of being a flower girl as 12. Um, and so I think she, uh, she, she understood that and she appreciated it. And I was a flower girl for it at my mom's wedding and I loved it, loved it, loved it. Um, so I think it really worked out for the groomsmen. I mean, for the ring bearers, we got them like ring security and they had little earpiece and glasses and a box. So I think they really liked that. And that was fun. Um, and then for our mothers, I wanted, one of the things I was really strict on was sequins. It is a New Year's Eve wedding. You were going to wear glitter, glitz, and glam. So all the bridesmaids had those sequin dresses. The groomsmen had sequin bow ties. Our mothers were wearing sequin dresses that complemented each other. It was just really important to me that everyone sparkled. This is New Year's Eve. And I want to give a shout out to my dad because he was wearing a leopard print shirt because Tez said I could have 22% leopard print in the wedding. So I had to pull it out. And my dad, when I told him that he was going to wear a leopard print shirt, he was like, why me? And I was like, because you're one of the only people who will. And he, when he saw the shirt, he was like, ah, you know me well. <laughs> so it worked out. I think everyone was happy. I feel like everyone looked fantastic. And it was just a fun New Year's Eve. I feel like people are going to look back and be like, wow, that we had dope. a good time. Yeah. You know? For sure. Um, you want to talk about your sure. groomsmen? Uh... And so our groomsmen, to our, say, all of our wedding party was, we have, we have all of our siblings and then friends that were important, so. I just want to shout out all my homies that came from Philly, period, you know, like, everybody that, 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 that took that time to come all the way over here in the year with our wedding. Oh, uh, I just appreciate all of them, you know, all the homies, but my guys, very, very, uh go with the flow type cat so 
once I say, you know, hey, this is what we doing, they're like, all right, we're here for Tez, you know? So I just appreciate that being still a thing, you know? Because when you get older, your friendships tend to serve you in other ways. You know, you, you still have relationships with guys, but, you know, it's not always a pick up and go type of situation for most cats when they get older, you know? So I just appreciate all my homies in their 30s coming in and saying, hey, we got you, bro. We rocking with you. We going to do whatever you need for these few days, you know? So that was solid. And they threw on sequin bow ties. So, yeah, shout out to them, man. Appreciate them. Yeah. Dave, TJ, Mike, Manny. Who else flew out? Yeah, those Your guys. Your brothers? My brothers know what's up. You know <laughs> what I'm saying? They know. I appreciate them from the ball sack to the ball. Never mind. Uh, <laughs> but, yeah, they, that's, my, that's my babies. So. Yeah, but it was really a Seven family affair, so, all, so it was a good time. It was love. And I also feel like it was great because as much of a headache as it was having a holiday wedding with COVID, uh, it was a good time for all of our families to meet together for the Indeed. first time. It made sense for it to happen over Christmas and New Year's. You know, it, it, it felt in the holiday family spirit. Right. Um, I feel like now our families are really used to each other way more than they would have been had we gotten married at a different time. Like if we had just had a wedding in like June and they came just for the wedding, they wouldn't yeah. know each other the way they do because, because we had a holiday holidays, wedding. Yeah. Like we spent Christmas together, Christmas mm -hmm. Eve, like we were all together. We had a big breakfast together. Yeah. That was you guys dope. Have seen Everybody the vlogs. Came. Um, but everyone was already comfortable, so by the time the actual rehearsal dinner came, rehearsal, and then the day of, it was like a family reunion, yeah, family you know, it was people reunion. seeing each other again, yeah. and we had family members from all over, like my grandmother, my great uncle, they came from Montreal, my dad's brother and his wife and his sister, they came from France, my cousins came from the Bay, his family came from Philly, my godmother came from New York, like we had people from everywhere. My brother and sister, their mom flew in from Thailand, like we had, it was an international affair. Yeah. Um, and I feel like everyone really enjoyed it themselves. I feel like everyone had a great time. And it just was amazing that, like, the blood, sweat, and tears I and we put into it, it all paid off. Paid off. You know, you meet so many people and they're like, how, how did the wedding end up going? They're like, oh, it was perfect. And you're like, how the fuck was it perfect? It was bullshit every day up until. And as someone, it was bullshit every day up until. It just. It was perfect. I couldn't be happier. Um. Shout out to my mother. Couldn't have done it without my mother. <laughs> Shout out to my mom. I couldn't have done it without my mom. My mom literally took it on like it was her job too. So like claps for the girl. But it was just, thank you. So this is our wedding website. I really want it to be as informative as possible. So it talks a little bit about our wedding, the bride and groom, like, you know, all of that, how we met, which is like actually hilarious. You see, I had a lot to write. Um, the story of our engagement, how to join the celebration virtually and stream it, cute pictures of us over the years, directions for the venue, our registry. This is my favorite. Because at first we lived in sin, we've got the sheets and a trash bin. A gift from you would be swell, but we prefer a donation to our wishing well. Here are what people should wear, my outfit picks. I was very clear, no white eggshell, ivory cream, all the questions. It was like, so there was no way someone could say, oh, I don't know what's going on. Did you read the website? Because if you read the website, you would know. And of course, people did not read the website fully, but those that did really appreciated it because everyone knows how extra and over the top I am. And then the bridesmaids. And the groomsmen. I know the groomsmen had such bad photos, that's why they're all so small. Nothing I could do, guys. Sorry. You know, everyone who watched, participated, came, everyone of you who supported, anyone watching this video right now who wanted to know about more about the wedding and like who were really invested in the wedding and like our love and our journey. Thank you. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you guys enjoy this video. I can't wait to show you guys the wedding footage. Like, trust me, I want to show it to you. I want to give it to you, but I want it to be perfect. And like, we do have more than enough footage from everyone's phones, but we paid a group of money for professional. I want you guys to see it professional. Um, so you'll get it. It's coming. I promise.
I have more than enough of my own vlog footage for the reception because like I brought the camera and we filmed so I could do reception but it just feels like why do that before the ceremony because the ceremony when you guys see you'll see it was a moment and yeah shout I, out to all the people who didn't stream it because y'all stupid I'm just kidding. Y'all still stupid. No, but I felt like it was just <laughs> the ceremony was a perfect reflection of who we are as a couple, who we are in our families, who we are in this world and our lives together and like the love we were trying to show and portray for what we're stepping into this next path as. So we're really excited. I hope you guys enjoy this video. As always, be sure to like, comment, share, subscribe, comment below what type of videos you guys want to see in the new year that are not wedding related because those are coming to a close. <laughs> Um, kind of crazy because I have so many other things filmed that feel weird because like we're not done with wedding stuff. We have honeymoon coming up. We have um, New Year's declutter. We have a little Valentine's Day Super Bowl video. Hey, honeymoon. <sighs> Y'all are not ready. Yeah. Shout out to Mexico. <laughs> that part yeah. that we were staying at. That part. But yeah, <clears throat> we hope you guys enjoyed. We hope to see you next week and stay safe and stay healthy. Yeah, all that. <laughs>